Hi, I'm Andrew Sims, the head greenkeeper at Colmworth Golf Club. I'm here today to talk to you about pitch marks. We've had quite a few grumbles in the clubhouse through people not repairing their pitch marks or not quite repairing them correctly. And I've had a lot of people asking me how we can get truer um, and better roll on the greens. The way to do it is uh, you guys to come out here when you make a pitch mark is to repair it properly. Uh, if you repair it within 10 minutes, the chances are the day, next day or so it's going to be repaired and you won't even notice it's been there. If you don't, it's going to be three to four weeks and it's going to be an un uneven roll on the ball. Okay, so if we have a look down here, what's happened here is the ball's come into the green and it's plugged into the green and rolled backwards. So what we need to do, what a lot of golfers will come in and do and is put their pitchfork in and lift upwards. What this will do is it will bring the dirt to the top and it will break all the roots so what we'll end up with is a badly repaired pitch mark. What we've got to do is put the, the pitch mark repairer in to the side and push inwards to relieve the compaction that's caused by the ball landing on the green. You see there, that's, that's all lifted up now. So all we've got to do is get your putter and pat that down and that's a well repaired pitch mark. I also hear a lot of people saying that they don't make pitch marks. If your ball has landed on the green, the chances are your ball has made a pitch mark on these greens. If everybody can do it, then we're going to be miles ahead on the game. Thanks.